Welcome to Lubeck Nordic Film Days. My name is Wendy Mitchell. I'm one of the programmers here, and I'm delighted to be talking to some of the amazing film teams. Um, and right now we're with some of the, we have the star and the director of Practice, and how do you say it in Norwegian? Or Uava. Thank you for not letting me say that. <laughs> um, but we have Lawrence Perrell, uh, who's the director, and Cornelia Melsetter, yeah. uh, who is the star, who plays Trina. Um, so Lawrence, you were born in Germany and studied in Norway, and that's where you made practice. Um, would one of you like to tell us about the film in your own words, about a little bit of what it's about? Yeah, so um, or practice is a film about an 18 year old uh, girl, um, Trine. She is living in uh, northern Norway um, on Lofoten, beautiful islands, uh, far away from uh, the capital Oslo. And Trine refuses to fly uh, because of environmental reasons. She's an activist in that. And she plays the trumpet. That's mm. her big uh, yeah, passion. And uh, suddenly, uh, Trine gets invited to an audition in Oslo, which is a huge uh, possibility for her opportunity to get a trumpet player. And uh, it's five days uh, to go uh, until the audition starts. And then she has this problem to get down there because it's 1,500 kilometers long. It's uh, <laughs> always a huge country. And there's a bunch of yeah, difficulties uh, with her principles that she has. So what en she ends up hitchhiking as a way to prove her, her yeah, principles uh, and make them uh, yeah, alive during the road trip that yeah. starts. And we follow her on that journey. Yeah. And uh, Cornelia, would, when you were preparing for the role of Trina, are there similarities that you have with her already? Like, Do you play the trumpet already, I hope? Yeah, I uh, played the trumpet for 10 years. Okay. So I stopped when I was 17. I was really ambitious at that time when I was 17. And then I, I quit it because I, I wanted to be an actress. Uh, so yes, but I had to practice a lot. Yes. <laughs> and that's, that's good. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what Trina would do. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But did you see any also just in any personality traits like, uh, you know, a drive and a passion for something, or maybe being stubborn. She's kind of stubborn in a way that she's not going to take the easy route. Yes, uh, she's she's a bit different than me. She's braver and stuff like that. <laughs> she 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 hitchhiked. She's really brave, more brave than me. But I uh, gave her something for myself and uh, the anger and the. Uh, the passion and I think th the like uh, motor, <laughs> yeah, the drive. Okay. Uh, I think I have some of it yes. as well. And of course, I'm really uh, into the same thing with the climate yeah. and stuff like that. So we are similar but same. different. Yeah. And this cannot have been an easy film to shoot. You know, <laughs> it's not a huge budget film. You make the most of it on screen, but it's also, you can tell you're shooting all over the country. You know, it's not like in one location where you've got a cozy trailer to sit in. <laughs> no, so, no, um, not at all. How, you know, how was the experience of actually shooting it for you? Yeah, we had, um, we had 12 days and yeah, and in, total, in yeah. total and six of them, six of them were in Lofoten. And we had then we did a lot of uh, inside the scenes or yeah the scenes that were yeah, and then we had many days on the road, and that was uh, exciting because we I didn't know actually uh, I need I I know I knew some of the scenes we are going to do but sometimes the learners was like. You have to wake. <laughs> you have to wake up. You have to go out because now it's beautiful outside. Go. And then we went out. Yeah, yeah that was really fun. I was. Yeah. yeah, it was a little bubble. Yeah. Mm. It sounds am an amazing experience, and I think we also see that on screen. So, Lorenz, I've been really impressed um, since I've been hearing about this film. I know you. Um, yourself have been trying to hitchhike when you can to some film festivals. And um, I, I know you hitchhiked to Haugesund Film Festival this summer. And 
here, I know in Germany you were at the Hof Film Festival last week and the film won a prize there. Congratulations. And then from there, you've hitchhiked all the way here or how, how far did you hitchhike here? So I made a stop in Stuttgart since okay. my girlfriend is living there, okay. um, but I hitchhiked from Stuttgart, so uh, which is even further than from Hof. Oh. <laughs> so it was like an eight hours, uh, Google Maps uh, says eight, eight hours. <laughs> And I think I did it in 12 hours in the wow. end, um, which was, um, yeah, it was sporty because I just had one day actually. I decided it pretty last minute that I would do it. And uh, yeah, I arrived even in the dark. Um, but it is uh, like also part of the film from the beginning. I, I even like when I wrote the script, I already um, did this uh, hitchhiking tour on the same uh, path that Trine does. So you knew it. Okay. So I, yeah, so I really wanted to do this uh, to develop the, the story and to, yeah try to feel some things that she feels. I'm not a uh, herb for sure. Mm. I can't um, feel uh, all the things also the, from the perspective of a female character, but I, I really did uh, eight days, I think, of uh, hitchhiking then and uh, wrote the script also on yeah. that based on those experiences yeah. that I did there. And coming from Stuttgart to Lübeck, I mean, are people friendly when you approach them for rides? Is it, did it go pretty well? D they're amazing. It's uh, For sure, you... you don't hit everyone uh, always. There are people that don't drive your direction. There are people that uh, say they don't do it, uh, but they do. And there are people that don't want. Uh, there's like a bunch of uh, yeah options that mm. uh, ha and, and things that happen. All in all, it's really easy. I must admit, when you have some knowledge about how to do, where to be, and being, on, I always ask people. That's the easiest thing yeah. to do, and also. Um, I think the safest way, both for me and also for the people, because they have this moment to think about and to hear my voice, see me uh, close, not being on the road. Um, so that helps a lot. And with this, I made really amazing um, meetings with people. I was driving with the uh, with the p person right, um, working as a metal worker on a on a um, um, band, uh, like a, yeah, really a worker. And I met the director of uh, some of the biggest uh, um, universities in in Vienna. It's like wow. You, you name it. So it's really interesting experience, and and uh, for sure, then the talks are as as interesting as that. Wow. Um, yeah, you can learn so much about humanity. I think this way. Yeah, and you Good meet people you. that you otherwise wouldn't Would cross never. and and have yeah. this moment of together. And I really love this way of um, cr also going out of your echo chamber. Mm. Um, yeah, it maybe in the most extreme way that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I know the film has been a big hit here in Lübeck, a lot of sold out screenings. And what's it been like showing it here? How has the Lübeck audience reacted? It was breathtaking, really. It was, uh, I mean, the second day we had, it, uh, I think, a screening at uh, 10.30 in the uh, a.m. So I was like, well, and in the biggest uh, oh. um, uh, venue, and I was like, they are very optimistic. <laughs> what are they doing to us? And it was almost full. I was, wow. it, it was crazy. It was really so. And and on top of that, it was really like the moments when people approached us um, after the screening. There was so many heartwarming contacts, uh, yeah, and, and and feedbacks, and people were really like touched by the, the essence that really I wanted to to work on about this. Uh, what does it mean to really practice on things and to try to to kind of look in this mirror every day and mm. try to kind of yeah, reflect what you're doing. And people were really like uh, inspired by that and told us that and that really touches me and gives hope that yeah. maybe it's uh, changed a little bit on uh, the perspective yeah. of people and inspired yeah so what can you hope for more yeah. more and Cornelia I hear you might even bring your trumpet out um on the closing night I think it's going to be a surprise but I think this is going to come out after the surprise is yes, revealed yes um yeah well who came up with that idea and how does it happen that was Lodens <laughs> Is the there a director in the room? Yeah, yes. the man with the ideas. <laughs> yes, it was a really good idea, yeah. I think. Uh, so I'm yes, I'm going to play a little bit. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, which is, uh, I mean, that's one of the special uh, parts of the film. Also, that really uh, we have a, an actress which is not pretending to play trumpet, yes. but is actually playing the trumpet, and that's. Something that I really also as a musician myself I have a background as trumpet player. Okay. Um, I've played the trumpet myself ten years, also in a very ambitious way, uh, or like 
a lot of practicing yeah. and so so I know this uh, everyday life and that was very important to me because I think also people feel that it's not different it gives them another um, s haptics in a way mm. about what uh, and their in depth insights in the instrument and the music mm. and I think that's maybe also what people uh, so far have appreciated very, very much to. yeah, yeah. Um, well I think your film has been a treat for Lubeck, and I think your trumpet playing is going to be a treat for Lubeck tonight. So I wish you all the best of luck with the continued journey of practice, and be careful hitchhiking anywhere. Are you hitchhiking home? No. Uh, no, I will yeah. take the, the train. Okay, the so train. Yeah, normally, I uh, mostly I take the train, and sometimes okay. I hitchhike. That's uh, yeah, so both of them. Okay, no. fair enough. And I will take the train all uh, to uh, Oslo. Okay, so this is a long train. Yeah. yeah. No. She, she came with night train. Night train. Yeah. Twenty four hours. Oh wow! <laughs> Have an amazing journey. Um, thank you for sharing us your filmmaking journey, and yeah, thank you for being here in Lubeck with us. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.